Hello everyone, today we have two System Sensor SPR speaker strobes. I got these as a pair, so I'm going to test them both at the same time. That's what I've been doing for each other set of alarms I've gotten as a pair. I've tested those both at the same time, so, you know, why not? It's kind of fun to do. To the left is the System Sensor P2R. It's the typical system sensor spectral alert advanced horn strobe we see in just about every new install at least when this video was filmed so what does this alarm consist of well you got the alarm itself the horn strobe here's the mounting plate it mounts on you mount this to the back box or the wall well pretty much to the back box you wire everything up through here then put the alarm on and then you screw in the hole to secure it. This is pretty much the same thing. You take your mounting plate, wire the speaker and the strobe up right here. Then you put the alarm, this big thing, on. There you go. Screw it in. And that's kind of interesting. Before I show you everything on the back of this alarm here, the SPSR, I'll show you everything on the back of the classic Spectre Alert Advance. And by classic, I mean the typical one. So, here it is. This white knob you see here is your audio selection setting. You got a little chart here. One is temporal high volume, which is all the way over here. I'll flip it over. Whoops. There you go, it's on temporal high. If I wanted to make it continuous low volume, I flip it all the way over there. It's six. There you go. And over here is your candela selection. Flipping the knob, or the lever rather, whatever the word is, 15 candela, it's on, set now, 115 rather, and I could flip it back, it's a little bit of a challenge to do this on camera, so there's that for this alarm, I'll show you this alarm now, the one we're focused on. As you can see, SPSR, There's your candela selection right there, your indicator rather, the strobe obviously. It's a lot bigger than the typical Spectre Alert Advance. There's your speaker back here. This is the candela selection thing. As you can see it's 110 candela now because I flipped it all the way over. It's a little off, I don't know why. There you go. I'm going to be doing 15 candela for this test video. Because these were actually new old stock uh, and everything is in the default factory settings. And by the way, this is your watt setting and your volt setting. Your voltage setting. Now the watt setting is like a volume control. One watt it's on right now is sort of hot, high. Two is the loudest. Two watts. One fourth watt is the softest. It was on 1 watts when I got it. Now the volts is the input the speaker is going to take for, for the alarm. So you could do either 25 volts or 70 volts. So that's the back of that alarm. Let's get on with the test. Now comes the fun part of the video where you'll see the flashing, the sounding and whatnot. Well, let's get that started in five, four, three, two, one. Now mind you, these are not on a sync module of any kind. 
And as you can see down here, they're both on 15 candela. And of course, we know what we like to do with these types of strobes, or any type of strobe I show. Lights out. Well, to kind of show how bright they are without the big lights above, that's kind of why I've been doing it. Obviously, you have your room lighting back there, so. Let's get the lights back on. Let them flash for a little bit. This is interesting. They're way out of sync now. And that's it for now. Now to activate these alarms with the pull station, I'll be using the Firelight BG-12. It's just the BG-12, no L. Well, why am I doing this? You would normally see these with a BG-12 of some sort. It would probably be a notifier NBG series on a addressable system of some sort. Or you would probably find the Firelight version of these things. Probably key locked. Probably the Firelight by Honeywell Systems version. This is a slightly older one from 2005. That's what the date code says, at least. So, enough chitter chatter about the, uh, the pull station. Let's pull it. Now let's reset it. The B typical BG12 just takes a hex key, hex wrench, whatever you want to say. Try to be less intrusive to the frame as possible. That was easy. So let's get around to testing the speakers on these units. So. Let's test the uh, Firelight female fire message. So, here we go. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? The signal you have just heard indicates a report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building unless directed to do so by the proper authorities. All right, that was the Firelight voice evac message. Well, one of the messages they have, that happened to be the uh, female voice. Now, what would a fire alarm video be without a simplex voice evacuation message? So, without further ado, here we go. With that, at least. Attention. Attention. 
Attention, an emergency has been reported. All occupants walk to the nearest stairway exit and walk down to your assigned re-entry floor or main lobby. Hey, Do not use nice. the elevator. Walk to the nearest stairway. Do not use the elevator. Walk to the nearest stairway. Yeah, it's just gonna whoop on forever. So, I'm just gonna shut it off now because I think you can get the idea that these can play the voice evacuation message. So, that's it for now. And as such, the BG-12 comes back. Well, I'm going to activate the strobes and play a message at the same time to sort of give you a realistic effect. So, here we go. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? The signal you have just heard indicates a report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building unless directed to do so by the proper authorities. Let's play the message again. Attention, please. May I have your attention, please? The signal you have just heard indicates a report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building unless directed to do so by the proper authorities. All right, somebody's resetting it. And obviously the strobes would keep going if this wasn't such a simple setup, but that's besides the point. The point is, I want to give you a sort of realistic simulation of a system. So, anyways, that's about it. Th thanks for watching.